You can do it. Feed me, Seymour. Feed me all night long. And if you feed me, Seymour. So I forget the. <laughs> I can grow big and strong. Ah, oh, little shop of horrors. Iconic. Uh, uh, yes, one of the. Uh, I would say definitely one of the best musicals. Mm -hmm. One of the ones I definitely have never fell fallen asleep during. I was in that musical actually. Ah, uh, yes, I remember. Did you, you see it? Uh, I was. I you. Yeah, I've seen the videos of it. Oh, the videos. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Mr. Mushnick. Mr. Mushnick. Sugar <laughs> <laughs> <Shagana. laughs> uh, Dude, I had to like learn a Jewish accent and everything. <laughs> it was hard. Yeah. But it, it was one of those things when I realized, like, with voice acting and stuff like that, uh, you can nail a voice, you know? Oh, yeah, for it sure. It just takes a while. Yeah, you got to practice at it and be at it. Yeah. Uh, it, but you nailed you nailed it if I remember it from the fucking videos. Yeah, it did pretty decent, I thought. Yeah. As I remember, like you could definitely tell at first they were like, "Yeah, it needs work or whatever." Your voice, and I knew that myself. But then really stay at it, and I feel like it was pretty decent in the end. Because like I think the hard part about it with me was finding one that you could also sing with. You yeah, know, because you have this do singing roles, and it's not like you can just switch out of the voice if you don't want it to seem like authentic or something. You know. If I remember right, though, at least Mushnick didn't have too many fucking singing roles in compared. Like, no, it's not like you're fucking Audrey too. No, 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 no. Or no. Seymour. He was in a few songs, but not like every single one. I think I had like. Oh yeah, because the four, musical version, yeah. yeah, four or five songs maybe I was in at most. Yeah, because he. I was about to say the musical has a lot more songs and stuff than the, like movie. the movie one version did. I love the movie version even more than the oh the yeah than the musical <laughs> musical one. But the musical one does have some song like Mushnick and Son that wasn't in the movie, right? The what? Mushnick and Son. It's a song. Oh, uh, I don't think that was in there. No, was it? I no. don't think so. No, they unless had, it was uh, a deleted scene or something, but I doubt it. The the uh, yeah they definitely cut off a lot of songs from it that were originally like in the musical. Mm -hmm. They I th I'm trying to think like. Actually, I don't even think Mr. Mushnick was really in any of those songs in the movie. No. I like, think he was in that one where he dies, basically. It's supper time, and he doesn't really have a yeah, but singing... Yeah, it's not a singing role. It's he's like, got a talking part in it, though. <laughs> yeah, and he was just like basically bribing fucking Seymour the whole time. Yeah. Like, Get up those stairs. Get up there. Go on, my boy. I remember that part. <laughs> it's his death scene in the musical, too. It's fucking... What the hell, Mr. Mushnick? <laughs> Had to jump into Fucking a plant and scream bloody horror. <laughs> oh, what the, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, nope. that's one thing I don't know if nope. I. That's one thing I don't know if I nailed as much. Was doing a deaf scene. <laughs> I'll be honest about that. Just act like you're actually dying, bro. Don't worry. That's <laughs> what I did. I just let out like a blood curdling <laughs> scream, and I was just like, I don't care if it sounds weird or whatever. Like, I just want it to sound like. <laughs> so hopefully it was good, but I was like, uh, I don't know, dude. <laughs> so I don't know what, I don't know what, like about to be killed feels like. So hopefully you uh, don't figure that out. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe someday I'll have a Texas chainsaw situation, and oh no, someone will be running after me, and I'll survive. Out of all the death scenarios, you pick a fucking Texas chainsaw. <laughs> mm -hmm. Fucking hung up on a meat hook and shit like that. That's oh. fucking not fun. <laughs> That would not be a fun way to die. Dude, f oh, those movies are kind of, like, they're not, like, they're terrifying, but, like, in a way that you're not terrified while watching them. Um, At least not in a way, like, a lot of horror movies where there's jump scares and stuff like that. Like, it's more just about, like, the implications. implications and, yeah, and the just feeling fact grossed that you don't out. Wanna, I don't want to feel this. Feeling <laughs> grossed out and not comfortable with this house and everything they have like bone charms hanging up and everything like weird shit bone charms you know getting like fucking meat hooks shoved into your ribs uh br the br getting snared in traps and like some of the ones where they you know you kind of breaks his foot Ooh. you know you kind of deserve it though right when like they picked up the hitchhiker and everything it's like oh, come on guys the what the fuck <laughs> it's like what the fuck are you thinking like this he's got like blood on his shirt and on his face a little bit i think when he's when you first find him yeah it's just like why would you have picked him up and then immediately i think after like a minute of him being in that car i would have been like all right you're you're really sketchy you gotta get the fuck out of here man 
Jacket, jacket. The hit, yeah. Or I've been like, uh, sorry, man, this is as far as I can take you or whatever, at least. And... Uh, he's still going to fuck you up. No, probably. <laughs> just, but... The moment you let him but, in. Yeah, just here, don't even fine. let him in. Like, if you're feeling sketched out, why would you let him in? Mm. So that was their first mistake. So they kind of had everything coming to them but But i'd say that some people are just trying to be nice folks man you never know some but dude like i said blood on his mouth looks sketch as fuck and (laughs) (laughs) and also had like a like an animal like hanging on like a neck that was his fucking pocket pouch (laughs) his weird pocket pouch thing neck purse you know what neck purse sounds like a right word not sketch at all (laughs) no of course not it's just He's an odd fellow. Don't worry about it. <laughs> he's, a, he's just a bit odd. Leave me be. Ah, how are you, Silas? I'm good. I'm doing well, Leon. How are you? Doing good, my friends. We're here on the night of the Rick and Morty penultimate episode. Ah, uh, yes. Well, let's let's hope it's certainly better than last. That's for sure. Yes, that was some <laughs> trash. That was some hot, hot garbage. But you will hear our full thoughts on that episode soon. Yes. When the finale comes out and we give you our season seven entire synopsis and review. Oh, it's going to be a fucking hot mess of a fucking rant on that one. Oh, yeah. (laughs) Good. Some good. Some bad. Yeah. Well, But that's for you to find out later. Yes, yes. But, uh... What sort of shows and movies have been your favorite of this year, my friend? Well, if we're going with movies and entertainment in general, I'm still going with the, that newest Godzilla movie. You think that's your favorite movie of the year so far? That I can think of at the moment, yes. Wow. That is, that's uh, awesome. That's still a f- great movie. I, I, it's great because I've been seeing it. many other people been saying similar things where they're very happy about Why is, where like, that movie went. <laughs> Why do you think some people like have it on the same level as like Monarch or something? Then, like, do you uh, think it's just that whole difference? people who say that are mostly just those fucking film critiques who are cringe. Mm. <laughs> they actually like the just stupid like. Oh, I kind of like when it's stupid and and I don't care about any of the characters and those those people are fucking don't know good fucking I uh, <laughs> don't know a good Godzilla movie <laughs> half the fucking time because fucking Godzilla minus one peak. Peak yeah, Godzilla. That seemed kind of like just like a. I'm guessing I haven't seen it yet, but like kind of like a modern remake of the original two or something. Yeah, basically it is. It's a different well, story out beats and elements and stuff. Yeah, but, but the idea, the symbolism of mm. of him and all that, and making him a whore, a fucking absolute menace, still fucking solidifies. Um, what they keep and they make it a not like the Shin Godzilla one where it's. An absolute abomination of a creature. Yeah. This one, though horrifying, it's like the equivalent of a giant monster, like an actual monster that's more animalistic type of feeling, but still like horrifying. Mm. Shin Godzilla was a looks like a fucking something that escapes from a lab somewhere that <laughs> had, does some really questionable, sketchy shit to people. Is that the one that just like had that? beam like the tiny beam but like it was like the most powerful one where it was just like lasering like everything yeah basically the idea like it start it's the one that starts off as like fucking fire and smoking yeah. the city and then it condenses and condenses into like a pure like plasma like form and then just shooting that across like every fucking way and just obliterating it's probably like splitting the planet honestly <laughs> i'm godzilla I holy shit and then the fucking which by the way like when it has to do top th- like three Godzillas, Shin Godzilla is up there for me. Shin Godzilla, Godzilla minus one, and then the uh, ones like Godzilla. Surprisingly, some people probably would not agree, but I would definitely would say uh, Godzilla Final Wars, which is the I believe it's Hisei or anyway. It's like the uh, it's during you know that time period there where Godzilla was basically fighting different like monsters and all the time and mm. the more practical effects yada yada yeah it's basically that that it's like that it was the uh end of those ones basically so they kind things. of uh the camp the campier ones you'd say mm-hmm. like kind of an end to those ones but they just went all out yeah they basically went all out and it, where they literally had a fucking the, most of the movies just godzilla going from place to place to fu- get these aliens and basically uh absolutely just 
destroying every monster they throw at them. So you're seeing every monster, like from the uh, series, mm. through the Godzilla series, and Godzilla just fucking wiping them. Oh damn! Squad wiping, even like a scene where it's like they throw him up against uh, three of his uh, f- like I guess comrades. Uh-huh. Where like the three monsters that he like typically fought like side by side with type of thing throughout the uh, the series, which were uh, Angiris, Rodan, and King Caesar, mm-hmm. Kaiser Caesar, whatever they, however they pronounced it in the fucking movie, which is essentially like a weird lion dog thing, uh, yeah. lion dog like creature. Anyway, and that was a fun looking fight, and then them redoing and re- like one of uh, some of Godzilla's favorite, like you know, one of the ever the fan favorites of a. Uh, Godzilla like Godzilla monster fights, mm-hmm. like him fighting uh the the redated remodeling of Gigan who looks absolutely horrifying, edgy as fuck. Uh-huh. Which everyone's like, what the fuck? What <laughs> the, the fucking upgrades on this motherfucker it went from like essentially a, a cyborg, like a kind of a derpy uh looking, we amped it we amped it up a cyborg chicken from space, and they made him fucking menacing. Went from yeah. chicken run to oinker. <laughs> He lost a shit ton of weight. That's <laughs> so he he hit the gym for sure. Then King Ghidorah just gained like a whole new form, like looking uh very menacing. Of course, it, it, I think it's one of the biggest. At I think at the time it was the biggest King Ghidorah like scale mm. until like uh you know the I think the legendary one Godzilla King Ghidorah. Oh okay. Yeah, I think that one turned then became the biggest one. Okay. But uh yeah. So it's definitely top three all time Godzilla movies. Yeah, if you like the old Godzillas, I would say that's the peak of like those old Godzilla mm. monster fight ones. And then, like I said, Shin Godzilla would be like second, and, and then uh, minus one. Minus one is actually one. I think one right currently <laughs> on the top. Minus one, it's so good. Minus one is number one right now. It's so good that they actually were like, oh, people can have zero and number one if they want. We have minus one. We're that good. <laughs> Basically, <laughs> they actually, uh, you know, why they called it actually uh, Godzilla minus one? Because everything was destroyed and was, they were already at like a minus one. Well, level they were at, like, like at zero yeah. after the war, and then Godzilla comes in. And exactly. It's like, oh, great! Fuck. I us. thought that was interesting <laughs> with the title and everything. This just keeps getting worse. <laughs> Fuck Asshole. us. Should be like minus ten. He fucked shit up. <laughs> yeah. No shit. <laughs> Just go. It's just every time he shows up, negative, 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 Obviously, negative. Obviously, that's not as catchy. <laughs> yeah, no, but minus one is a very good title for the movie. You just go, just go with it. At this, point. it's gonna be minus two later. <laughs> <laughs> Any other movies you would say are in your like top three or something like that, or or not even? We don't have to do top threes, but just notable hmm. ones. I gotta see a list of fucking movies we've seen. Uh, I've seen this year. Honestly. Yeah, I can't remember. So well, honestly, that's what I'm saying. Like, I'm kind of having a hard time too. But I would say for me, uh, John Wick Four. Oh yeah, that did come out this was year, great. wasn't it? Yeah. Wow. It felt like it was last year or something. <laughs> I know. I'm pretty sure it's this year though. Yeah, John Wick Four would be up there year. too. Yeah, that is right. Oh my that god, that was phenomenal though. I saw that in IMAX. And I just remember remember that scene at the beginning where he's punching the uh, thing and it's loud as fuck. And like, uh, what's his face is giving the uh, Lawrence Fishburne's giving the monologue, like a badass monologue while he's just punching the thing. And it's like showing uh, him just his fist punching. It was so loud in IMAX, dude. It was like literally the loudest thing I've ever heard in IMAX. Like it actually kind of made me shit myself a little bit. Like it was a little intimidating. (laughs) Like each time you did it, and then like you just the whole theater shook. It was like boom. We were like, whoa, like the boogeyman. But then like you're sitting there, kind of intimidating, like shitting yourself a little bit, and you're like, oh, this is the effect this is supposed to have. I feel like that is the effect they're going for. (laughs) No, exactly. It was so cool. That was the second time I saw the movie too. Just amping up the fact that. The boogeyman, the Baba Yaga, is oh, on his way. That was He's phenomenal. about the rock shit. That was phenomenal. I just hope we get another. Shit. I hope it's that he's not actually dead. Oh, no. Because <laughs> I, I always like that idea I saw where someone said the John Wick's supposed to represent like the five stages of grief. Hmm. And I think that would it almost matches it perfectly. So I think the last one would be acceptance. So, like... Yeah, that would be an interesting one. And 
that would it, it would definitely be it's like it was always an interesting theory mm. and how uh like what if he like what given. if he did survive but they're kind of just covering for him so he can finally just have a normal life again but it's kind it's of the final accepting his kind of the final question <laughs> of can he finally accept a new life? like he gets a second after everything we've seen he actually did it he got another set like a third or another second or third chance or whatever but is can he actually stay that way? And I, I was about to say that would that would be just the worst to be. I'm out of it again. Mm. Oh shit! Once I'm out, they pull me back in <laughs> again. Course. But like, obviously, that would be quickly. You know, obviously, he would quickly descend back in the John Wick life. And at this point, I feel like that it, it would basically be a story about destroying the absolute society of the table. Yeah, that's. <laughs> That and exactly, and then That's we finally get that, like, that. He point. realizes like he tried to do it again. Kind of worked for a few months or a year or something, even or however many years have passed, probably since till we get this sequel. But then they just find him again or whatever, and it kind of starts again. And he realizes just okay, I need to fucking yeah take down the entire well, table basically. To, to be honest, I could definitely see a. Uh... It the movie probably more taking the approach of following those other fellas. Some of his uh, friends in the beginning, rather oh, than just uh, starting st- off with Wick. was it a uh, stick or something? Um, there's no, the, not stick. There's the uh, Kane. 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 Kane was the well, blind guy. Yo. <laughs> then there's he was awesome. Oh yeah, I was mixing up with another blind guy, Stick from Daredevil. Oh god damn it! <laughs> what would happen if they met? <laughs> <laughs> Wow. <laughs> what happens if Daredevil meets Kane? <laughs> Find out tonight. We're pretty much the same, huh? <laughs> God damn. But uh there's him, there's Kane, there's the whole situation with uh Kane and uh uh the other guy's daughter that wants to kill him now or something like mm-hmm. that for killing her dad. Yeah, it was a post credits. Yeah. And then there's the uh the oh, what's it? I feel bad. Uh, what was the name of the guy with the dog with who was also like fucking nobody or no- something? Oh Mr. yeah, he was just Mister Nobody. Yeah. <laughs> I forgot that was the actual. Which I thought was also interesting because there's that movie Nobody with John, uh, Bob Odenkirk. Oh yeah, and like that's done by some of the same John Wick people, and I had always kind of thought seeing that, I'm like I could see this being in the John Wick universe. It's his origin story. <laughs> 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 like like him just being a character in a John Wick movie in the future somehow or so I don't know. I did like Mr. Nobody though. In the Probably films. wouldn't really work, but I guess I'm reaching. But I just love to see fucking Bob it's, Odenkirk. It's the fun. It's the fun fan theory type thing. Or Saul. Fan... <laughs> what we're gonna get Saul Goodman now in the fucking uh, just imagine the them, John Wick imagine them, imagine them fighting. <laughs> be badass. <laughs> I'm just imagining fucking. Uh... We get another bus fight like in Nobody, but it's with John Wick, against John Wick this I'm, time. I'm just imagining John Wick being defended by Saul Goodman from Get Better Call Saul. <laughs> John, Go- John Wick. Damn. You see your my, your your honor. He is he is innocent <laughs> because. Do you really want to fight that again? <laughs> do Do you really want to fight the Baba Yaga? What are these coins you're trying to pay me with? <laughs> Saul's like, what the fuck? He's just he just stumbled onto a fucking whole new world. <laughs> it's like the it's like the beginning of Bear Call Saul when he just gets reintroduced to the world of like the cartels with Tuco and everything. Someone needs to make this edit happen. <laughs> fucking, it. I need it. <laughs> I can see, I can see someone definitely making a fun fun little like YouTube poop of that. <laughs> <laughs> It's like that shitty courtroom that you saw him in the very beginning, where he's just defending people. He's like a, he's just defending people for like seven hundred bucks an hour. Th- those shitty, the criminals and everything. Mm-hmm. That, he's just he's just oh, doing Saul. that for Wick. And he's, Saul, like yeah. a, he's just doing that. You're just seeing uh fucking John Wick right there in the in the shitty little booth, <laughs> or like the the shitty little table right there. It's not even a big court. <laughs> just for this man, Your Honor, shut the fuck up. You weren't even there. <laughs> Just like that fucking that meme. But yeah, so to me, I would say John Wick Four. Um, I'd also say probably a tie for these two movies. I li- I liked both of them a lot. Uh, Guardians of the Galaxy Volume Three. Ah, yes, and uh, Spider Man Across the Spider Verse. 
Thought both of those were fucking awesome. Dude, I keep forgetting all these came out this year. Yeah. It feels like they came out like a year or two, like even bef- the year before this or even two at the time. Jesus. But, yeah, really, I mean, we don't even have to go too much into those movies. I think everyone knows why those are awesome. <laughs> oh, yeah, for fucking sure. I, you know what? I'm 100%. Those are the best ones right? I can think yeah. of right off the top of my head. Um, But maybe what would be even more interesting is going into uh, – the disappointments of this year. Oh, where do we start? <laughs> Flash, I suppose. Can we not? <laughs> Ezra. Ezra Miller. <laughs> Ezra Miller is the Flash and kidnaps his child. <laughs> oh. <laughs> they were so bad in that movie. They were. It was just all around just bad acting, bad fucking plot. Fucking... They did the my boy the Flash dirty so they fucking did. bad. It like did. I mean, honestly, like I felt like he did a decent enough job, and it hurts me to say that. Like I feel like once it started to be more of the buddy thing between like the two versions of himself, like it was kind of stupid and not really what I wanted, but it was actually done pretty decently. Mm. But then it was all kind of ruined in the end when like it was just like <laughs> that version was the evil one or whatever that was. It just got so stupid in the end. It's I'm, got so <laughs> stupid and convoluted. You're like, oh, what the fuck are you guys doing? You know what would have been better? It was reverse Flash, and he just goes, yeah. it was me, Barry. No, literally. <laughs> just plays, if they just play, playing in with the meme would be a better movie. Literally. <laughs> That's why I don't get sometimes. So They want to be so fan service sometimes, but they're not the like moments they should really almost do it most instead of doing something stupid. They don't. Yeah, just basically describing most of the Marvels. Yeah. Or the most of the Marvel movies right now, to be honest with you. But yeah. I would say that's another disappointment of this year is the Marvels. Oh, uh, yes. Uh, the, the, the Mainly, Marvels. you want to know why it was the biggest disappointment to me? Why? Because we got, that's the introduction to the X-Men. <laughs> Spoiler alert, everybody. <laughs> Hold up. Look. <laughs> <laughs> I don't give a fuck. Fuck. <laughs> ah, great. Now we're going to hear uh, it. Everyone, <laughs> I don't care. Yes. X Men show up in the Marvels. Well, not really, but Beast does. I do. Spoiler I, alert! The one thing I had fun with that movie was when I was when we were watching it. And I was just pointing out all the fucking stupid plot holes throughout the whole thing. I Wait, don't know, like, hold on. They drained this planet of its oceans, but they didn't give you it at, back. Would you at least say <laughs> that that was better than the first Captain Marvel, though? Right? Uh, yeah. I you know I'd say that's probably yeah. better than the first. Yeah, that's what I thought. So but, uh, we will at least say that, and it wasn't like terrible, but definitely a disappointment, especially when you consider the fact. Especially when you consider the fact that uh, it's a different form of terrible. Just put it that way. I guess so. To it's each more, their own. It's, yeah, I would just definitely say, wouldn't watch it again. You can just say it's like shit rather than absolutely abominate abomination. <laughs> To me, it's more like in the okay range, and sometimes that can almost just be worse because it's like you weren't even so bad you could be funny or something. Like, I feel you're like just, you're saying it's in the okay range just because we've gotten so much shit lately. It's just <laughs> no, no, no. It's just when some. I, I, to me, there's a degree where something can be in an okay or just unforgettable range, and that's probably around like a five or a six. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like that's, okay is like a six, and then like a five is kind of like just forgettable. Like I said, it's almost like if you're right in the middle at a five. You're not even so bad you could be funny or something like that, but I you're guess that's so way to put it. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You're just so meh, you know? It is meh. And uh to me it was like I said to you, in the five to six range. I wouldn't say it's just meh. I personally would say just mediocre. Yeah. I'd just go I'd go step below that. Maybe a like the equivalent of four point five or four four to a four. What do you think a lot of that has to do with though? Do because to me it was like the villain wasn't very strong. The villain wasn't strong yet. I think that was one of the things that I didn't uh, like. And then just also the um They had a they had a the weird Disney planet. That exa- that was that was the one. <laughs> Which exactly. felt really out of place and fucking out of nowhere. Just in the middle of the movie. Let's I just mean, I have her be a, a Disney planet, princess. It was just weird. Yeah, that was bizarre. I was like, is this really happening right now? Um there I s like I said, the weird plot holes I kept pointing out of uh mm. an ocean planet losing its oceans. And the villains in the very end still get to keep those fucking oceans. They didn't return it. They get to keep it. The villain technically wins in the end. <laughs> it just didn't do it through the vengeful way. It just got it through the other way. We kept making basically Captain Marvel feel fucking pity. Yeah. 
Like, oh my god, I was the reason they fucking dis- they Yeah, fucked. it's like they kind of brought that whole idea up and then kind of dropped it just variously yeah, at but points. The, like, the, they wanted to be intellectual, but then just were like, no, eh, let's the, not really in go the into process, that. process, it fucked the other pe- planets over, it too. Did. And it kind <laughs> of just made them, look like, made them look like assholes, <laughs> or mainly Captain Marvel, but... Yeah. I mean, like, uh, fucking, like I said, once again, I, I still can't get off at the ocean planet getting fucked, and that's... She was literally the queen mm. of that fucking world, and she still lets it fucking die. I just feel like it sucks because doesn't help him. I feel like she, Captain Marvel. I thought like she was more likable in this one, like than the first movie. Yeah, she, she was wasn't in. insufferable as a character. I guess. Yeah, but uh, but they just did things like that, like the Disney princess thing, and then like stuff like that, where you're kind of like. I can't help but think, like, you almost just, like, kind of don't give a shit or something. <laughs> like, Why does everyone want a musical? You know, let's bring that up. Why does everyone want a musical in their fucking movies these days? <laughs> like, yeah, I'm married. I'm kind of embarrassed, like, but, that of my husband or whatever. I don't know. Like, may- there's just maybe- weird vibes like that at points where it's almost like, so what do you use? I don't get what the hell's going on here. I'm starting to think, like, everyone who makes movies in Marvel these days is a fucking... And uh, is obsessed with Broadway mm. and fucking that and fucking that shit where they got put music in every damn thing. <laughs> yeah, but I just thought that was musical, so bizarre. Musical. I just thought that was so bizarre that she was married and then like I was like, what are they going for here? Like, I felt is no this just- love between those two. Was, exactly. I'm like, is this? I'm I'm okay. So I'm assuming, but I'm also just not sure that this is supposed to be kind of like just a joke. I I like the. Uh, but, I made the joke once I see him like, oh my god, they got like a K-pop star because this motherfucker. He looked just like one of those K-pop sna- shit. Who the uh, husband? Yeah, in turn, I guess uh, he's in a Korean drama on Netflix, according to uh, oh, of course, one of our other buddies. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, what the fuck? Of course he is. Shit, he does look like he does look <laughs> like he would. Be. Fuck. But kind of uh, random, but all right, fine. I'm like, yeah, I just but there was no chemistry between the two. They, no. What they just dance and sing one time. Uh, he basically bends over at backwards for everything, and then he still and gets she, fucked. Like again. I said, and then she's just kind of like using him or someone almost. I was just kind of like, okay, like it was a very hollow. Ca- it love. was like a hollow. Lo- exactly, exactly. Very one sided. And that's why I was like, I guess it's supposed to be. She a- just wanted to. I was like, I guess it's sing on the planet. Jo- I guess it's supposed to be a joke, but I don't know. I don't even know what they're going. She for just wants here. to be a Disney princess. Yeah. And- I feel like that's what people at Marvel wanted. They wanted her to turn her into or a Disney. Disney princess. Or Disney wanted really. Yeah. But uh, any other disappointments of this year? I mean, because we just listed two superhero movies. Any other? <coughs> Jeez. Know what else I'll say? What? I don't even know why the fuck I saw it. We were just trying to do a thing where we were like, how many movies can we see in one day? Was like sneak in the movies and stuff like that. We saw uh, the Mar. Oh, no, no. Jeez, we just talked about that. Transformers. The new Transformers movie. I forgot. I, can't, I always forget about that. I forget what movies. it was even called. I forget what it was even called, honestly. As bad of that. Was uh, it the King Arthur one that was this year? No, that that's one? the like one with the ape robot. Oh yeah, the fucking Rise uh, of the Beasts or something. Is that it's what it's the, called? Uh, oh my god, I used to watch the uh, the old fucking cartoon they had of the. Uh, it was like Transformers: Rise of the Beasts or some something it, like it, that. But they're based on like the liter- the Transformers that turn into animals. I'm, tr- I'm trying uh-huh. to. I'm, I'm, it's gonna bug me now. Fuck me. <laughs> Don't I, I used even to worry watch about the old, car- the old Saturday night, like or you Saturday know- morning cartoons of those. It was so forgettable, and the characters sucked, and it was just not good. The CGI was actually worse than the Michael Bay ones, and you're like, how is this getting Wait, worse? I think this one was made by Michael Bay. No. He's Did done you now. just give up on it? He's done now. <laughs> Damn, they didn't even have Michael this Bay one and, CGI this one on and the there. This one and the last one that he hasn't been a part of, but all the other ones he was. But Jesus. The Bumblebee one that came out, and then this one he hasn't been a part of. <laughs> I guess it's like a reboot one. So I, I, saw, I heard Bumblebee was actually the best one out of all of them. I still haven't seen that. I haven't either. I, was, but, uh, I can tell you on that one. People say it's always a tie between that and the first Transformers. Let's say I think the last uh, fucking Transformers I actually saw, like I f- saw, was three. From, like uh, first, like from beginning to. I last. never saw the Mark Wahlberg ones, four and five. I saw three. That's it my is last one of the Mark one. Wahlberg ones I was thinking of. It's the, uh, the, the, the is that the one where he's a descendant of King Arthur or something stupid like that? That's another one I'm trying to think of. There's, I think is there. there might I'm pretty be three sure it's the Mark Wahlberg one. Bark no, it's just two. I mean, they were gonna do three, but then no, no, it was no. Just there's two. Uh, let me think. Let me think real quick. There's the first three of Shia, and then there's the two with Mar- Marky Mark, and then there's one Bumblebee, and then there's the new one that just came oh, out. Oh fuck, you're right. I think there's the uh, yeah. And I've right. only I'm seen. 
I think it was the is it the first? It must have been the first Marky Mark one. I was, mm. was the last one I actually. Well, they're so long. I don't blame you for thinking it was probably three movies. Yeah, you're not wrong. <laughs> I mean, like I. The funny thing is, I enjoyed the original like three Transformers. To not, me, it got stale after like it's once, we, got, once plot, we got to the third the one. Or anything like that. It's once we got to the, the uh, third one, it got very much like okay, I'm getting yeah, sick of this. And that's how it was. I like the first two though, especially to, the first. Once they got rid of Sh- once uh, they got rid of Shia was where I it- <laughs> stopped having fun. <laughs> yeah, not they got they continually got they Shia continually got worse. That's for sure. <laughs> continually got worse. It did, but uh, like to me, the third one just felt like a good way to end the whole fucking thing. They should just ended it with that. You want to know a spoiler about the new one? Yeah, uh, what? Post credit scene set up a GI Joe Transformers crossover movie. Oh my god! <laughs> I was like, "Are you fucking kidding me? Is this real?" And it was a long post credits too. It was like five minutes. I'm like, "Where the fuck is this leading?" And they're like, "GI <laughs> Joe." Like it was the most epic shit ever. I was like, "Oh my god!" That sounds so baked. Yeah, <laughs> that sounds so fucking baked. So we're gonna get that. Oh, oh Jesus! We're gonna get the GI Joe versus. Oh my god! The fun- cringe mark. Oh my god! The funny thing is, I, though, I one thing they did nail, no matter what, is always Optimus Prime's voice. Yeah, <laughs> I was say. Too bad he's always kind of a little bitch in all the movies. <laughs> you know, it was always like funny enough. It's always getting his ass kicks. I, it was the third one, like Dark Side in the Moon. Yeah, remember, like, uh, what was he fighting? Who's the, uh, who's the other, like the the big guy that was fucking him up? That they got from a, the villain. Yeah, one of the villain, not Megatron, but the other one. Ah, uh, I don't even know. Fuck. Okay. Transformers movies are all blurred either, to me, bro. Either way, Just it was Michael Bay's robots and explosions. It was him about to fucking finish off Optimus Prime, and then Megatron comes out of nowhere and fucks up uh, the the guy who was about to kill Optimus. Oh shit! And then Megatron's like, "So how about it, Prime? You want to make it a lot like essentially like saying you want <laughs> you want to team up for this." And then, uh, Ma- and then Optimus like, yeah, go fuck yourself, and kills Megatron instead, <laughs> <laughs> and just kills somebody. He was like trying to make a fucking offer. He's like, like, fuck damn, you, bro. Optimus. <laughs> Optimus is like, I'm done with everyone's bullshit. I'm just <laughs> killing everyone. I'm killing. I'm wiping it all clean. I don't care anymore. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> you're. I'm sick of your bullshit, Megatron. I just saved you, tr- I just saved you, Prime. <laughs> Good, just rips his fucking head off with his fucking axe. <laughs> it's, it's... Get oinked. Get fucked. Fuck you, Megatron. Suck my balls. And then, <clears throat> then just goes up to the other guy who's already got fucked up by Megatron from a sneak attack. And then he's just like, Prime, please don't. <laughs> he just fucking, Obnus just putting a gun point blank in the back of his head. I'm about to finish the job. No, Optimus! <laughs> and then just gets fucked. <laughs> I'm like, God. God it just damn. felt so weird. But <laughs> just out of nowhere of having Optimus fuck over the guy who's, who saved his life for a brief second, even though he hates him. <laughs> but yeah, that was definitely one Diff- of the shittiest ones of this year. Oh, yeah. As okay. you can tell, just from what little I told you, I you already doubt just it. picture it in your brain. I'm like sure. I said, after the third, like even the third one, was the, the original three weren't even that good. They're just like a fun, fucking action, turn yeah. your brain off type of movie. Like fuck, cool giant robots a fight. Yeah, that that's fun. That's fun. And then uh, after that, they started trying to. It felt like they were trying to take themselves seriously for some stupid reason. Yeah. It seemed like, very much that way, and it's super convoluted and everything, too. It's just like, guys, come on. You're trying to make Marky Mark feel like he was in actually a decent movie. <laughs> <laughs> was in Mark, Planet don't of the, worry. In Planet of the Apes, now having Transformers. Mark, this is a totally great movie. Don't worry about it. You're going to be like a fucking tear. You're probably going to be in the Oscars. Fuck this shit. I'm going back to Ted. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck this. <laughs> back to Ted, I go. He should. I liked him in those movies. <laughs> Ted. Oh, God. I guess we're getting a new Ted series in January. Ah, uh, yes. That's going to be a fun... Uh, I feel like that'll be a fun... Fun, like, fuck, fuck around time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm excited for it. We'll definitely review that. But uh, any other disappointments or anything you think this year? Or do you think that about wraps it up? I wish I had a list. 
I want a list a list of fucking movies that came out this year because I'm having a hard time fucking remembering what came out this year and last well, year. Well, I guess that shows how that not a lot of memorable ones have come out. No, it's not. <laughs> you're, you're you'd be correct. Because uh, what are what are the ones sticking near memory? Is it the ones I basically said and th- Godzilla? I, I was about to say I think the things that pop in my head most are last year's bullshit. What was it like? Godzilla versus Kong was last year. I'm pretty sure mm. there was. I uh, didn't like that. Morbius. <laughs> we don't bring that up. <laughs> we don't bring up Leto in this house. You keep Leto's name out your fucking mouth. <laughs> Will Smith on your ass. Uh, oh yes, the Will Smith. <laughs> um, trying to think, what other movies would have came out this year though? Um, besides Boy and the Heron, which we reviewed the. Uh, the other day, yeah. Well, I think there's, I think there's the problem is is that I can think of some, but they're just more they weren't my favorite of the year, and they weren't the worst either. Is ba- what you like saying they're basically just a meh fucking pile? Yeah, like I didn't think Barbie or Oppenheimer were as good as everyone was saying they were. Oh yeah, oh, I yeah, like I, I that was this I year. I enjoyed them, but no one was a good one this year. Mission Imp- the new Mission Impossible that was pretty awesome. New Mission Impossible. Was really good too. Dead Reckoning Part One or whatever. They had some really cool action sequences in that, and that's a series I haven't really even kept up with. And it was pretty easy to just jump into it and still have a good time with it and everything. Hold on, I'm trying to pull up the fucking movies that came out. Ant Man versus the in the Wasp. That was a disappointment. Yes, agreed. Uh, Fast Fast Ten. Didn't see that. Nope. I I didn't either. Wait a minute. Oh, that's 2024. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I fucking saw a fucking Dune Part 2. I'm like, what the fuck? When did, did this that come came out? out? <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Uh, Marvels, yep. John Wick, yep. Oh, Indiana Jones. I forgot about that. We almost forgot that about was, that. That was, I thought, decent. But not really, like I said, not really a disappointment. Not really bad yeah. either. It was meh. Yeah. To me, as as you could probably see, very forgettable to me. <laughs> yeah, I c- pretty much agree with like you there. To, like to me, it, it, better it, than the last one though. It kind of felt really weird. Better than Indiana place that, in, of indie just not wanting to go. Better home than indie to... four. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, let's see, uh, Blue Beetle. I I like that one. Got to say, I didn't really see Blue Beetle. So. It was pretty simple though. I don't think it. I kind of. I think it kind of knew what it was, and it was pretty short and stuff. So. Mm. All right. Um, Expendables four. Oh my god, I forgot about that. <laughs> Fuck. Damn, four point eight. <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit! You just reminded me. <laughs> I kind of wish you didn't, because I feel like I'm gonna have to go on a rant now. Uh, you you want to go on that rant? <sighs> this was the shittiest movie I've seen in years, <laughs> and it also just reminded me of the other shittiest movie of this year, Five Nights at Freddy's. Oh yeah, I forgot. <laughs> but both those movies. We're fucking terrible. Uh, not even very long movies. I mean, they're both for about 90-minute movies, but god damn, did they feel like they were three hours. Personally, the uh, Nick the Nick Cage version of uh, Five Night at Freddy's was definitely better. Oh, Willy's Wonderland? That <laughs> yeah. was ten times yeah. better. They were ten times less of a budget, too, I bet. Yeah, no, when fucking Willy... <laughs> and Nick Cage is just silent the whole time. Nick Cage is just silent the whole time, and it's better than Five Nights at Freddy's. Honestly, that adds to his character. I don't usually I love like his Nick. Character. I usually don't like Nick movies that uh. He's just drinking he like he's just when drinking he's like he actually really dope. He's drinking like the equivalent of like a Mountain Dew pitch black. It's like a grape soda or something. He just keeps <laughs> drinking. He's like obsessed with it. Yeah, I know. And then eventually he puts them all in the fri- uh in the freezer. To just he's very he's very committed to his time too. Weapon. The, once it's his break, he takes his break. He yeah. doesn't give a fuck. He let all those kids die pretty much. <laughs> Dude, that movie's great. Bruh, I love it. Should watch that again soon. Yes, very much recommend. I mean, they're coming out with a 4K of it soon, so I was thinking about getting that actually, but oh. I'll probably get it digitally. Yeah, I wouldn't blame you. That's actually a fun. That's a stupid fun time. It is. I you know, really that's hope another they make movie. A it's another movie it. that knows what it is, you know, and it doesn't try to be anything beyond that. Yep. Um. Ooh, the Super Mario movie was also this year. But, I forgot about that. Yeah, one. Expendables four and Five Nights at Freddy's definitely two biggest disappointments. And then I would almost say it's kind of like, I don't know, I guess 
the Marvels was a little worse, so I'd say the Marvels third probably. Mm. Yeah, but that's a bit. That's a bad right. I'd say too. Um, yep, Super Mario. The Mario movie was this year too. I decent. Yep. Also I had a not fun. Stupid time. Yeah. <laughs> I but, just thought Seth Rogen shouldn't have been Donkey Kong. It was like pretty I, much I my one. I think everyone kind of agreed with that. Pretty much my one really complaint. Weird. It just felt like Seth Rogen. It's just like, come on, guys! All these, <laughs> other, all these other ones, all these other ones weren't really very <laughs> noticeable. I mean, Jack Black, you know, it's Jack Black too, but he nails it. He actually surprisingly really nailed Black. Yeah, Black. I was actually surprised. So very impressed. But Seth Rogen, you just know Seth Rogen. You just imagine him sitting there stoned in the studio fucking doing it like uh, not even trying, like probably just, did it one try or something. Just, <laughs> just laughing to himself in the fucking th- in the fucking podium. Not the podium. Out They're of the like, recording oh, station. fuck. We we told him to do a voice, but he just said fuck you guys. I'm doing my voice." So, there was a new Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles movie. Oh, that year? was good. Huh. That was good. Um Let's see. Elementals, which I didn't see, so I couldn't see. Elemental say. was good, too. A lot oh. of people were kind of ripping on that, though. Mm. Uh, Evil Dead Rise. Evil Dead Rise was good. Yeah, it was actually- I like that more than the 2013 one, and I'm not a... You know me, I'm not a huge horror fan. Mm. Um, But, yeah, I thought that one, like, had Rami... Sam Raimi esque elements to the directing style and like yeah. how the story was told and everything. Like, yeah, I think it had some really but good body horror too. Mixed it was, with it was, the it was... 2013 one almost, mm. with like more just fucked up and yeah, body horror sort of shit. Yeah, body horror was it, he did a fucking damn good job with uh, body horror. We're fucking freak. I also love the uh, expansion of the lore too in the second one in a way where, where there's like three there's three the, books. Yeah, they talk but, about. But like, that's remember that's in Army of in. Darkness too. Mm-hmm. So it's kind of just expanding on things we've already <clears throat> seen. Oh yeah. Because Ash saw those three books and remember he's like, which one do I pick? Like the Necronomicon or whatever. <laughs> well, I, I think, think that those are those three books. I don't think it's like those are three different versions of the Necronomicon. Oh almost. yeah. No, I agree with that. I'm like, uh, but I just like the hinting at a, a third movie, and I like the. Uh, I don't know. Just I oh I'm a, I'm a, I've been a I'm a pretty I do enjoy Evil Dead quite well. So. Oh, I love Evil Dead. It is always a good time. Even the even the derpy fucking versions of a- with Ash and mm. the uh, <laughs> what was it the uh, what was it the series the series uh Ash vs the Evil Dead like the series thing that we watched mm. a bit of too. Oh yeah, that's a fun fun watch. I haven't watched all of it yet though. I've only seen like half the first season. Shame. I know. It's, I got- uh, it's kind of good though, cause like you know, it's like I have content still. Yeah. Cause I love Evil Dead. Yeah, I get you. Um, so I'm other, excited to watch more of it. A lot of other movies I haven't heard of. Uh, The Kill Room. You see that one? No, I thought you were gonna say The Killer, cause I saw that one. It's a Netflix movie, and that was pretty awesome. Uh, fifty-seven seconds. Ninety-nine minutes. Fucking false advertisement. <laughs> um, Pain Hustlers. I don't know that one. No hard feelings. I didn't see that. Mm. Uh, of course, Oppenheimer. Uh, the creator. I didn't see that. I heard that was decent. Uh, and leave the world behind. Then we had like Killers of the Flower Moon and stuff too, which. Oh, the Equalizer three also was this year. Yo, did you see that? Yeah, actually, I I, I kind of had. I a haven't good time seen any of those movies yet. They're they're pretty fun. I actually like the third one more just because it's more of a kind of a late, more of a. I'm not much for like you know sp- like spy and hitman movies as mm. much. I think I watched so many of them when I was young where it just drains you mm. in a certain way, where just you can just guess everything that happens. Equalizer three was fun. I mean, like in the sense of it takes place in you know Sicily, yeah, or Sicily, Italy, but um, or Sicilian town, whatever you want to say, however you want to put it, but um. <laughs> Very nice. He's just trying to fucking basically start kind of like a new life kind of in there after uh, finishing his his shit they need to do. Then gets involved with the fucking uh, mafia and all that. And, mm. or he, where he has to protect his town from the, maf, the mafia that's like in upper Italy and shit like that that just keeps fucking with him. Yeah. But yeah, it was a, it was a nice fun ta- action movie fun to me. Yeah, I heard it was pretty good. Mm-hmm. But uh, uh I think, yeah, I think two of the only ones that 
didn't mention on that list that I can kind of does that mention most of them? Like I said, was uh, that the killer movie, um, Killers of the Flower Moon, and then this movie I just saw recently, The Holdovers, and there's, I saw all three of those movies, and I would say those are there's the nun too. I would say those are some of the best of this year. Uh, after probably right after my oh. top three of Spider Man across the Spider Verse. Oh fuck! I forgot Aquaman: The Lost Kingdom was also this year. Yeah, that comes out about a week or ten days, bud. We're gonna go see it. Yep. <laughs> why? why Excited? Do you, you just hate me. <laughs> <laughs> you got Wonka and Aquaman two. You got all sorts of fun <laughs> stuff coming up. What's this? Star Wars Rogue Squadron a movie. It's under the fucking movie titles. I don't know what the fuck. I know there's a lot of Star Wars movies that are in development right now. I don't, I don't think they really I, know what the fuck. It hasn't doing. even been announced yet. I'm gonna say that's it probably fucking next year or some shit. <laughs> and fucking I am, I am DB is fucking just messing with me. Anyway, but I also say Godzilla minus one is definitely one of my favorites of this year too. I don't think I'd say it's number one like you, but I'd say it's in my top ten. It, it, for me, it was just a, I, it was a great time for me on that one. Yo. Um, Guardians was also f- really good, but you know me, I'm I actually do. The, my Guardians is like one of the few Marvel ones mm. I'll keep watching these days. Don't blame you. Um, and then yeah, John Wick definitely. Yeah, definitely good. Say my favorites are probably like top five, like John Wick, Guardians three, Spider Man Across the Spider Verse. Ah, oh, yep, Spider Man was also good. Ah, uh, and then I really like that Holdovers movie I just saw. And then probably Killers of the Flower Moon, number five. Hmm. But, yeah, a lot, a lot of good movies, a lot of meh ones, few bad ones. Mediocre. Same as always, yeah. I suppose. Yeah, yeah, I guess so. You always got to get a few <clears throat> rotten apples each year, right? Yeah, get a couple. You always get a couple crab apples. <laughs> When you're uh, trying to find good ones to make a pie. Yes. But I think that about wraps it up, folks. Thank you for hanging out with us mm. once again. Until next time. Two bows in a pod, two bows in a pod. Oh! Bye, folks. Hello. Goodbye.